That's how you ruin your shoes without even skating. What's up guys, uh, I'm trying to block the wind. I'm gonna get some skating done. Kind of tweaked my ankle last video. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna see if it feels better today. And if not, I'll probably just like sit down and uh, tell some stories or talk about some skateboard stuff. Let's get to it. Are you actually Superman? into my head first. It's getting hot out, which is better than it getting cold out. I'll deal with the heat. So what's up, uh, y'all wanna get to know me? My name is Bud A Mystery. Been skating for 16 years. I'm definitely not the best. I prefer flat ground, especially as I've gotten older. I do like hit stairs and gaps every now and then. Uh, deathly terrified of rails. I didn't really grow up skating them. When I was younger, I tried to learn board slides, but like no one ever taught me how to do them. And so I just board slide and slip out backwards and, and hit my back on the rail like every single time. And so like I'm always terrified of board slides. I could 50-50. But yeah, grind's not really my strong suit. I really love flip tricks. I especially love 360s. But uh, my whole story is I just got into skateboarding when I was like 10 years old. I kind of have the classic story of like getting into skateboarding from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games and Tony Hawk's Underground and all that stuff. And then uh, one day I just kind of found a kid in my neighborhood that wanted to skate started learning how to ollie, which is an incredibly slow process. There was not like really any YouTube video tutorials for it. When I did learn it, I actually had this uh, punching bag in my basement and I would roll up to it and I would just ollie onto it into like a board stall and then I would just jump off my board. That actually got me used to learning how to pop and then once I was used to staying on my board, all the tricks kind of came pretty fast after that. Uh, I just realized I'm sitting in a bunch of bugs, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, move somewhere else, I guess. I think this area is, is bug free. I mainly love teaching tutorials, just because I kind of wanted that like feedback when I started skateboarding. Like I said, there wasn't really any tutorials when I was growing up, and that would have helped me immensely, so I really enjoy like making all kinds of tutorials that how to ollie or how to 180, how to do pop shove it, somewhat more advanced tricks, all that kind of stuff. I think it just helps because like when you see someone that's already struggled with it, you can just kind of ask them tips and tricks, and then you won't have to struggle through it. The YouTube skateboarding community has grown a lot, and uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome having all these kids have an avenue something to do with their energy that's creative I think is really useful to have around dude there's still bugs everywhere I don't know if everyone in the world like has these kind of bugs but they're like tiny and they're red and they burrow into your skin and itch really bad and I'm sitting around them also another topic I wanted to talk about today who's your favorite skateboarder me personally, I would say Jerry Sue is one of my favorite skateboarders of all time. He uh, rode for Enjoy. I don't really know who all he's riding for now, if he still rides for them. But uh, I just enjoyed his style. He He's like an artist with his skateboarding. And when I was younger, I got like this Galaxy Cosmo board that had a Jesus fish on it that said Jerry on it. So he also has like one of my all time favorite skateboard graphics. And I ended up learning a lot on that board when I got it. it I don't know if it's that board or just the timing, but I, I learned a lot of tricks within like a week with that board. So I really like Enjoy. Uh, the most current skateboarder, I guess you could say, that I really enjoy watching is uh, Evan Smith. That dude can skateboard on anything. Anything that he wants to skateboard on, he can skate on. Any obstacle, any like traffic curb, he can like find something creative to do on that, which I think is great. Always push the boundaries of like creativity and in progress in skateboarding. Uh, my favorite female skateboarders nowadays are Nora Vasconcelos, I think that's how you said your last name, and uh, Lacey Baker, and uh, Samaria Brevard. 
I want to say that's her last name, Samaria Brevard. Those are all like my favorite female skateboarders. They shred and rip, and I like how Lacey Baker's kind of like a tech skater. Nora's like a crazy vert shredder, and Samaria's just like your classic like street skater. But yeah, those are like my favorite pro skateboarders. As for like uh, boards and brands I like, I like Etnies. I really like their Etnies Murana Michelin shoes. They uh, lasted me like eight months. I still couldn't break through the toe cap. The bottom just ended up flattening out. I mean, it lasted forever. These S's, they're, they feel great. They skate great. They're just not as durable as I was expecting but they also weren't that pricey. So you get what you pay for, I guess. And uh, I also really love Toy Machine. I don't think I've ever skated a Toy Machine board before this. I've tried my friends and it was awesome. Actually getting one and skating it, seeing how it feels, uh, it's a great board. I like the middle of concave, but it's not too flat. I like the fatter nose and tails on it. It's really tough. Like I should have broken my tail many, many times with how bad I've landed certain tricks. So I really enjoy the board. I enjoy Enjoys. Enjoys is a great skateboarding brand. I liked my girl board. And I also like Revive boards. And those are like the brands I know I can like get a good skateboard out of. But anyway, that's my story of me and what I like. Let me know the brands you care about or your favorite pro skateboarders or the first trick you ever landed. Just leave it all down in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But uh, yeah, I'm just kind of making this video to like share a little bit more about myself because I never really talk about myself in my videos. Now that you know more about me, let's be friends. No? All right, fine. Also red thunders, um, but I'm not too fond of them. I'm actually a really big fan of independence trucks. They're an old school company, very reliable. If you could see those bushings, they're like way beat up on both sides and so it makes my skateboard turn slightly and uh, you could really feel it when you're doing tricks because one side you'll kind of dip lower than the other so when i get a new pair of trucks i am definitely going with independent trucks wheels spitfire always bones another old school company they're really good richta hubba they're all like great wheels the um spitfire street formulas are like traction control for your board so i really stand behind these wheels Oh, butterfly, butterfly. Going on a secret mission, which isn't secret, because I'm telling you, but going to some ledges that we got kicked out all the time as little kids. Don't tell anybody. Secrets. But uh, yeah, at this spot, we would literally get on our boards and someone would come out of the door and be like, leave. Um, I feel really dumb and I ollied really bad because I haven't skated down a ledge in years. So I cracked the top ply of my board. All right, since I snapped my deck. Oh, that's so strong. I still stand by toy machines 100% because I weigh like 215 pounds. So I'm a pretty heavy skateboarder. So for me to snap the tail, that's that's pretty common for heavier skaters, especially since like I haven't skated off a ledge in a long time. Oh, there's a boot. Yeah, I wish I could have gotten more skateboarding in, but like I said, I, I tweaked my ankle like a few days ago and not too bad, but it's just kind of swollen, and so I don't really want to damage it. Anyway, that's for if that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to, and have a great day, and uh, don't go chasing your own tail. Go catch butterflies. Don't walk towards the sun. Be blessed. Keep the wind at your back. I'll see you guys next time. Very good time. Hope you like. Bye-bye. Uh,